Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So the major update went live today and I'm going to break this down into separate videos to look at each part separately, starting with Ibenfard Sanctum. Let's go. So kicking off this update at the Hilts Trader, so all the quantities have now been increased to be a weekly purchase limit on all items rather than a daily purchase limit, which makes it so much easier because obviously you don't always have time to log in every day just to purchase stuff from the Hilts Trader or you might log in every day and forget to purchase them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy um, my total weekly limit of aspirant keys. You can see I only purchased five for the week. Um, I must have obviously forgotten to purchase some yesterday or something. Um, so that is my aspirant keys for the week there. The limited time, uh, they are still refreshed, so there's still only one of each available for that. And obviously it's totally random what you will get in the limited time items at the Hilts Trader. So next we're gonna head to Ibenfard Sanctum and look at the changes also made there. So we'll be running through and opening as many chests as possible in Sanctum today. And then we'll come back and have a look at my legacy of the Haradrim at the changes there and see if we can actually update any of the nodes at all. So let's head through here. We've got my first kill of the day there, which is some hilts, which is super handy because as you just saw, I did spend quite a lot of hilts in one go, but I do think that this change for the hilts trader is definitely a positive one. As I mentioned, if you're someone that works a lot and doesn't have time to log in every day to make your purchases at the hilts trader, it's much more beneficial now for players like that that aren't so hardcore, that aren't necessarily able to commit to playing every day, as they won't ever miss out on being able to purchase specific items like the aspirant keys or normal press as well. So let's head through this door and start opening some chests. Obviously the change that was made to pets recently where they pick things up a lot quicker, this is really helpful in Sanctum as well because uh, if you're like me, you kind of run through quite quickly to open these chests. However, I do always double check that my pet has collected everything because there's so many times I've got mail still where like literally one item has been left behind and it's normally the difference between me being able to update a node and not update a node in Sanctum, which is kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, you can see my pet is picking everything up really quickly now, which is a nice update. That came out a few months ago, um, but I hadn't actually mentioned it in any of my videos yet. So um, I'm sure you're all well aware that pets work a lot more efficiently now with picking things up. Also super helpful in things like terror rifts as well. So I've got a few keys left, so we're gonna head through to the last room now, just double checking my pet hasn't forgotten anything. And I think I'll probably only be able to open one or two chests in here. So um, we obviously have more elites here to defeat as well. So let's just clear those quickly and um, pick up all of the scrap materials and gold there. And yeah, there's only enough keys to open two chests. So we're going to leave the rest of them. I'm not going to use my platinum for this. And let's head back and look at what my legacy tableau looks like now. So you can see here at the top of the screen, a reset all button has now been added for Legacy of the Haradrim. Now this is great because a lot of players, when they first started in Diablo Immortal, they flooded their damage and life nodes without realizing the importance of their secondary stats. So this gives you the opportunity to reset any mistakes you may have made when you first started playing in the game. Now, I think this is a really good idea, but what I would recommend doing is taking a screenshot of what your bonuses look like currently, so that if you do make a change, um, you can actually update that or put them all back as they were, if it's not something that's working for you. So you don't wanna change everything, you don't wanna reset it and then find that actually you're weaker in PVP, for example. Um, so I'd recommend, yeah, taking a screenshot of it like I did, and then you can also change the nodes back to how they were if it's not working for you. You can see as well, you can now increase levels by one or two, which makes it a lot easier to update the tree and obviously reallocate points if you do decide to reset it. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this part of the update helpful. Definitely super beneficial in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And for now, that's it from me, and I'll see you in the next one.